Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just got back from the gym and I decided to make a video about an addition that I'm adding to my diet. As you all know, I just started the Renaissance Periodization Dieting app for my prep for North Americans here in this coming August. And I just added this whey protein isolate from Iron Forest, which is the gym that I go to. I believe this is made from uh, TGB supplements and it's their own personal blend for protein. And I just wanted to kind of go over why am I adding this? What is a protein in general? And how can it be helpful for your training? And I'm also gonna do a quick review on this as well. So if you've watched my prior videos and you've stumbled upon my three favorite supplements for powerlifters video, you will remember that I did not put protein in there as a supplement. And part of the reason that I, I did that was I don't think of protein as much of a supplement as I do a food. So something like creatine or beta alanine or caffeine, those are all things that you can get in your food, but usually in trace amounts. And in the example of caffeine, you're going to have to drink it outwardly anyway. Protein, you can eat 100% of your protein in your daily diet. So something such as a protein supplement, in my opinion, is an essential. But now that I'm counting calories and I'm trying to be as efficient as possible, something like a protein supplement can be something that's a nice addition to the diet, mostly for ease of use. And a protein isolate is just more specifically like just the way. It's going to have less of the other stuff, most notably carbs that's going to be in there. Usually in my experience, isolate's a little bit thinner because of that, but um, I'll just show you the, the label here. They do a very good job of kind of putting all of the uh, amino acids that are going to be in here. Of course, I'm not going to take the time to read all of them. As we know, there's nine essential amino acids for your body, your body to create its muscles. And then you have the nutrition breakdown, mostly looking at um, protein, which for this, a scoop's going to be 25 and a half uh, grams of protein, and then only two carbs. So you may be thinking, how am I going to use this? Mostly this is going to be for a post-workout shake, and then also for intra-workouts on my heavy days. The RP Dieting app asks me to have an intra workout whenever I'm going to be working out for a long time, such as my day fours of training where I'm in there for like three or four hours. So I picked this up. In my experience, I hate the taste of whey proteins. So um, bulk supplements who I personally work with, their proteins are the only, only thing that I'm kind of iffy on because none of them are flavored. So I really struggle with taking those. And um, Iron Forge has me covered, especially I like to support local businesses. So kind of went for this. I'm going to go ahead and plug in a, a mixing video that I had, but just overall, whey protein can be a great addition if you're struggling to hit your protein and your calorie goals. Okay, but I wanna just make it clear, you can eat all the protein that you need through chicken, salmon, any lean meat that you need. But this is a nice addition as a power lifter to uh, add in if you need to get other protein or you're counting your diet really heavily. The last thing that I'll say before I move on to the mixing test and the taste is a whey protein isolate is going to digest really fast because you're going to drink it. It is basically straight protein. So it's going to get into your stomach and get digested way faster than something such as chicken or beef. <laughs> way faster. That was a uh, non-intentional pun. But yes, so just wanted to clarify and then I'll give this a mixing test and a taste review right now. 
All right, so here we are. I've got my shaker cup and about eight ounces of water, give or take. And I decided to go with the chocolate flav flavored way from Iron Forge Nutrition. Personally, I really struggle to find a whey protein that I like the taste of. So you're kind of seeing just the process that I use to shake it. One thing I will say, as you'll see, this mixes super well, and overall I'm very impressed with the taste. It is, with 8 ounces of water, relatively thick for a whey protein isolate, and it mixes thoroughly, as you can kind of see there, and the taste is very good. So overall, as a protein, 25.5 grams per serving is uh, great, solid. In general, whey proteins are all going to be very similar as far as their content so as long as you're getting that protein requirement then you're pretty good the taste especially for only having two carbs i'm very impressed with this so go ahead if you're interested check out ironforge nutrition i think they're on tgbsupplements.com like i said i'm not sponsored by them but they are a local company and i really like to support them because i'm a big fan so Thanks for listening. Drop a comment below. What whey proteins do you use, if any, for your diet? And until next time, happy lifting.